humanity's relentless pursuit of life beyond Earth is a testament to our curiosity and desire to unravel the mysteries of our existence and the vastness of the universe. Does life exist on other planets? The answer is yes. Life does exist on other planets and it would be unwise to claim that Earth is the only planet capable of supporting life when there are approximately 100 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy alone. It is possible there are countless planets with conditions potentially conducive to life. And because there are so many planets, we don't know which planets have life. And for this reason, scientists use artificial intelligence and machine learning to handle such large datasets. Before we discuss how artificial intelligence is being used in the search for alien life, one very important question that remains on my mind, and that is, can life persevere in extreme environments? Life on Earth has shown remarkable adaptability and resilience with organisms known as extremophiles that live in acidic chemical pools of Yellowstone National Park. They love extreme environments, thriving in conditions that would kill anything else. When extremophiles can exist in acidic chemical pools of Yellowstone National Park, they might as well exist in seemingly inhospitable environments elsewhere in the universe. The search for extraterrestrial life is ongoing and there are several promising avenues being explored. Powerful telescopes, space probes, robotic rovers and advanced analytical techniques allow us to study distant worlds and analyze data with unprecedented precision. Exoplanets are planets outside our solar system. Scientists are studying the properties of exoplanets to identify those with conditions potentially conducive to life, such as the presence of liquid water or a suitable atmosphere. How is artificial intelligence used in search for alien life in deep space? I will break it down into three simple steps. First step is discovering new planets. Second step is looking for biosignatures in the atmospheres of such planets. And the third step is detecting alien life in the samples from such. In 2016, scientists discovered the star called Proxima Centauri, the nearest star which is only four light years away from Earth. They also discovered an exoplanet they named Proxima Centauri b that revolves around this Proxima Centauri star. This is NASA's satellite recording the intensity of light emitted by this star over several months or years. It produces data like this one from NASA's Kepler telescope. The data is made available by Gabriel Garza. The columns show the light intensity recorded for each star at a different point in time. For several months, the light intensity graph shows the same line, meaning that this line or this value could be the original light intensity value for the star. At a different point in time, T1, when this unknown planet takes this position, it partially eclipses or obscures the star. And due to this, the light intensity drops. At another time, T2, when this planet moves away, the light intensity rises back to its normal value. So this means that there is, there is an unknown planet orbiting around the star. And this star and uh, unknown planet system, the system, becomes the candidate system for further investigation. Once the candidate system has been discovered, scientists use a method called spectroscopy along with artificial intelligence to analyze the compositions of exoplanet atmospheres. Biosignature gases such as oxygen, methane and water vapor in these atmospheres will absorb and block out certain portions of light spectrum and that indicates presence of life. Now that we know that biosignature gases are present in the atmosphere of this unknown planet, it implies that it supports life, or it may have supported life in the past. Mars has been a focal point for the search of extraterrestrial life due to its similarities to Earth, and the possibility that it may have supported microbial life in the past. 
multiple missions like NASA's Mars rovers, including Curiosity and Perseverance, have been exploring the Martian surface, analyzing rocks, soil and atmospheric conditions for any signs of past or present life. These missions have uncovered evidence of ancient water bodies and complex organic molecules suggesting Mars may have been habitable in the past. Robert Hazen's team has created an artificial intelligence model that can detect alien life. The algorithm can distinguish between samples of biological and non-biological origin 90% of the time after being trained using living cells, fossils and lab-made chemicals. Furthermore, it implies that the technique should be able to identify alien biochemistries differentiating them from life forms found on Earth. The search continues, and advancements in technology and space exploration may bring us closer to finding alien life beyond Earth. I hope you enjoyed the video. If the video was useful, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.